talk a little bit about tonight's episode. Archie and Veronica, and they're going into Jug... They didn't even tell Jughead. And poor Jughead's heart is broken. It's yeah. best friend. I mean, they're doing it out of love, though. It's not like they're going... I mean, they're going behind his back, but they're not, you know, they're not trying to do anything, you know, mean to him or anything. They're doing it for for his for his benefit, but unfortunately, he kind of understandably sees it as another way. You know? But those scenes, though, I mean, Cole's your like a really good friend of yours now, right? Like, do, what's it been like doing those scenes with him? It's been great. It's been great. Me and Cole are really good good mates. We, we hang out a lot uh, off set and stuff, so we don't really get to work as much as we'd like with each other on on set. But um, hopefully that'll be something that we can kind of wrangle for season two. So tell us a little about the, the team up in next week's episode to try and help out FP. I think Archie, Archie and Veronica and Betty, they all want the best. And I think Jughead struggles a bit and they all want the best for him. And Archie, you know, he's from, from the beginning of the season, he's always been trying to help people. But every time he goes to help someone, he kind of gets stuck a bit, you know what I mean? Where people are kind of being like, what are you doing? And it kind of ends up being not too good for him. So does this investigation bring Veronica and Archie closer? Even yeah. closer? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. What do you, do you like that relationship? Do you think that's a fun one for him or a good one for him? I think it's one good. that might last? I think it's good because I think Archie needs to settle down and I, I would like to see him settle down a bit. So I think uh, that is, there's definitely potential for that. And I, and I hope it does happen. Yeah. He needs to settle down a bit. How soon do you have to go back to Vancouver? Cold Vancouver. I think it's looking around June-ish. I think we're going to be back there working, and I can't wait. I can't. I can't wait to get get my teeth stuck in there. Now, have they sorted out the hair and eyebrow bleaching process to make it a little shorter? Shorter. Well, I, I, all I know now is that there, there's no more bleach involved. I, I asked for there not to be any bleach, and thankfully they've uh, they've cut it out. So that we've got a way to do it where we don't need to use bleach. Otherwise, it can. I'll be bald by the time I'm like 20 if, if that if we keep using bleach. How painful was it? First time was pretty gnarly. It was pretty painful, um, but I think I my scalp uh, became immune to it. Did they do your eyebrows as well? They bleached because you have quite dark eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, they did. Were you ever sort of pitching? I need a I need a beanie. A wig. I was asking for a wig for a long time as well, but that was kind of unrealistic too.